Lots of medical books there. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. Chewy Caramel Center? Ugh. It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. I don't want to pick that up. It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully, the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Areno's in a pot Areno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. You, I mean, the coroner, said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right. Uh, sorry, Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer a Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck who? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, a Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Insert three reports from the Blotron 3000, Fingertron 3000, and Facetron 3000 into the Arrestron 3000 to issue an arrest warrant. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. Just a bunch of files. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. The Arrestron 3000 trademark as primary function is to take reports from the Bloodron 3000 trademark, the Fingertron 3000 trademark, and the Facetron 3000 trademark, and issue an arrest warrant for the obviously guilty suspect. After the Arrestron 3000 trademark, Generates the arrest warrant. This compact criminal is arrested, jailed, and toils away making license plates with little chance of release. The job of the detective agent 
for law enforcement personnel is done. If they weren't guilty, they wouldn't have been arrested. The arrest on 3000 trademark is invaluable. Skipping a trial spares the family's pain and suffering and millions in court costs. The arrest on 3000 trademark is invaluable. The arrest on 3000 trademark. The arrest on 3000 trademark. Or dump in progress, reboot A, loading check X3.4, loading drivers, loading high man dot size, welcome to a restaurant 3000, trademark, 64k RAM system 38911 basic byte free, ready. Life must be understood backward, but it must be lived forward. So rent your guard. There has to be something. The day rundle. God is not willing to do everything, and thus take away our free will with that share of glory which belongs to us. Nicole Machiavelli. If God did not exist, it would be necessary to invent him. Voltaire. Others go astray in cases where they think they have the most perfect knowledge. Descartes. No man's knowledge here can go beyond his experience. John Locke. Close program. It's closed. It's a speck of dust. It's turned off. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Chuck Edmund is not your friend. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Wanted. Huh? A meteor? Wanted. Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. A bicycle built for two. Breaker 1-9, breaker, breaker. <laughs> I shouldn't be using official county equipment. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. No time to talk. We have to fix this... slight leak. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. No time to talk. We have to fix this... slight leak. 
I'd really like to explore A Street. Street's closed until we fix this leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. No time to talk. We have to fix this... slight leak. Gotta go. I've got a murder to solve. It's an odd-looking plumber's wrench. Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. It says, we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, they will be taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost, and there is a killer Reno on the loose. A map? Seriously? Oh, yes, and not just any map, but an official map. And where would I find this official map? Well, the county is plumb Reno out of them. I guess this really messes up your investigation. I'm sure the head office will understand, Reno. Shall I mark the case as unsolved? Not a chance. The feds never give up. I see. Aren't there some donuts that need eating? Well, you got me there. Oh, those donuts aren't gonna eat themselves. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. I'm a federal agent. I can take care of myself. And a darn fine agent, I'm sure of. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. Yeah, you're right. I'll head back to town and find a map. Ooh, donuts do sound good. I don't want to pick that up. Looks pretty dark down there. I can't see anything there. 
but it's pretty stinky. This grate is both bolted and welded shut. No way I'm going to open it. All the lights are out. It must be broken. The instructions say insert coupon for movie. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? There aren't any maps left. Sorry, little dude. The sheriff came by a bit ago and nabbed all the maps. Didn't even pay for them. Something about immature dominion or something like that. If I had something to mail, this might work. I'd play if it were a sure thing. Let me know if I can help you find anything. It's an I'm sorry you were caught out of the inheritance card. Don't forget to smile at the camera. My boss likes happy people. It's an I'm sorry your face won't come off card. There's a picture of a clown with a lot of hair. It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. Let me know if I can help you find anything. It's an I'm sorry you're feeling like a beep card. Jeez. It's an I'm sorry for forgetting your birthday card. That's sweet. Don't forget to smile at the camera. My boss likes... It's an I'm sorry your hamster died card. Oh no. Looks like a sorry lot of cards. Let me know if I can help you find anything. Hi there, I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Junior Special Agent Reyes. Uh, I'm not Holden, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. Let's not go there. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. Tell me a bit about yourself, Leonard. Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No, you just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Can I take a look at that security tape? Oh, no can do, broski. We only have one Betamax tape here at the Quickie Pal, and the boss man would freak if I gave it away. If I lose it, my ass is grass. Why do you have a Betamax player? We have one sweet, cutting-edge Betamax player here. We don't want to be stuck with a piece of obsolete technology when VHS bites the big one. Gotta invest in the superior tech, dude. I'm going to look around your store. Let me know if I can help you find anything. It's turned off.
That's a huge toilet. Seems out of scale. I'd rather not. I can imagine what it looks like in there. Lots of super absorbent paper on this roll. Very plush for thimbleweed toilet paper. Employees must always wash their hands. It's turned off. I can't pull that. I can't push that. Huh, I look good. Saves trees. Oh, no way am I going to look in there. I can smell it from here. Looks like a really big tube. Looks like a really big tube. I can't open that. It's stuck. Ugh, they're all used up. Ugh, they're all used up. It's my specks of dust. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. The pet store is for rent. Guess no one around here has any pets. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. Otherwise, it looks fine. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. No one is in there. That Ransom the Clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. Excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, 
of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. Tell me about Pillowtronics. Pillowtronics was the brainchild of my uncle, the great entrepreneur and genius inventor Chuck Edmund. The Edmonds made this town great when we opened the Pillow Factory. My family, even my stupid little sister Dolores, might as well be royalty as far as Thimbleweed Park is concerned, sweetie. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie, yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Call center operative? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. Ugh, she only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers. But I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Flem Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. <laughs>